Uh, good evening. My name is Keith Romano. I'd like to call this meeting to order. This is the Inlay Wetlands Commission meeting for the Town of Monroe. It is um, October 27th, 2021, and it is 7.11 p.m. I will take a roll call of members of commission staff present during tonight's hybrid meeting. Please answer here or present. Sorry, myself, Keith Romano. Um, Lois Spence, who I believe is not here. Um, Jim Stewart, who's yeah. there. Is our treasurer and a licensed surveyor and um, engineer of the state of Connecticut? Clark Ingress? Here. Ross Maserato? Here. DJ e. Hall? Here. Uh, Donna Szczynski is our office manager. Here. And Sarah Stroud, recording secretary. Here. Before I start reading our mission statement and how the meeting will proceed, Inland Wetland Mission Statement. The objective and purpose of the Inland Wetlands Commission is to provide for the overall protection and preservation of the Inland Wetlands and forces within the town of Monroe. Meeting procedure. Please note that this meeting is being conducted utilized of electronic equipment in compliance with state law public act 21-1. As such, the meeting is being recorded and will be available to public in compliance with state law. If you are attending remotely, please remember to mute your microphone unless speaking. Anyone participating remotely should state their name and title if applicable at the onset of each occasion that such person is speaking. All votes taken during which any member of this body are participating remotely shall be taken by roll call unless the vote is unanimous. The chat features will not be utilized nor considered during this meeting. In the normal course of our meetings, we will hear public hearings and other applications. The protocol for public hearings is to have an applicant make a presentation to the commission during which and after which the commission will be asking the applicant questions. I'd like to ask the applicants to keep presentations as concise as possible. The commission will then review town, staff, and other independent comments. The meeting will then be open for public comment, unless at all comments be made to the chair or commission. After any and all comments pro and opposition or of a general nature are made, the applicant will be given an opportunity to respond. Please keep comments or questions direct and a time limit of three minutes may be imposed. So it's not necessary that the applicant respond, but generally in their best interest to do so. There will be no further opportunity for new questions unless new material is entered in as evidence or testimony during the response. Please keep all comments pro and cons specific to inland wetlands related matters. Other applications that do not involve a public hearing will follow a similar format with the exception that there will be no public comments allowed. Any files are published in general unless otherwise amended. Are there changes to the agenda? There is one addition, and that is that of um, a representative for uh, the Barnhill violation, and I don't have that number right off the top of my head, but he is here to um, state about the clearing that happened and discuss that with the commission. We can no, 101 Barnhill Road. Thank you. Um, Where would we fit that in? It can go under enforcement NOV discussion. No, item C7. C7, okay. And it's 101 Barnhill Road, excuse me. Okay. And that's it. Um, let's start. I forgot, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Right now, this is the general public participation portion of the meeting. If there's anybody in uh, our audience, either here or online, that would like to speak to the commission about any matters, uh, unless it's uh, before us now or are going to be before us in the near future, now is your time to speak. Okay. Moving along. Subdivision report, recommendations of P&Z, none. Re regular meeting, none. Public hearing, none. Enforcement, NOV discussion, 101 Barnhill Road. If you'd like to come up, then you can stand here at the microphone and just please state your name. Sure. Um, my name is John Apafano. I represent 101 Barnhill Road. I live at 25 Gerardo Drive, Monroe. Um, I have a small handout, if that's okay. Sure. Just for a reference. I may have the photos on the thumb drive, so I might be able to put it. Is 
Is this going to be? Do you want to? Uh, I'll reference it for everybody right, uh, oh. online. Um, first of all, um, I, in talking with Joe Chapman, I didn't know there was a violation. Uh, I was coming in to talk about the work that was done and what our intentions are with the property. So um, currently we have a permitted use of, uh, as of right, which we received back in the springtime from Donna. Um, from Denise. I'm sorry? From Denise. Denise, I'm sorry. Um, within your um, wetland regulations, specifically page 11 of 32, section 4, it talks about uh, permitted inland wetland water courses as of right uses. And uh, items, I was going to talk about items 1 through 5. Um, maybe before I do that, I should ask the commission, um, is there anything I should be addressing that you're concerned with? I do have a question, though. Sure. Uh, for uh, uh, did, did we actually we did send a violation on this? Yes. That was recently? Yes. Well, last meeting? Um, honestly, I don't really recall. But this, this was the photos. It was, they'd come before us, if you remember, they'd come before us, they were going to, they, I believe, and again, I thought this was, here's the NOV anyway. Um, what was that? Yeah, so March 24th, 2021, um, it was the owners asking about clearing associated with nursery operations. Um they were going to remove the dead trees and then plant trees and grow them. And then afterwards, it was clear cut. They had, so they did an agent approval with Denise Halstead. And then once that was issued, it was noted that the area had been clear cut. Right. So I think we're. I'll, I'll try to. I'll try to uh, give an overview from our side. So so was it you that was here? Yeah, I was online once. Right at the time. So back in. So at one point, the you as a representative of the of the property owner or, or whatever the case may be, came in here asking for either a discussion or permission to do some work. And then at the next meeting, you withdrew. By the next meeting, it was withdrawn, right? Which made us think, okay, so they're not ready or whatever. And then we hear that the work was done. So from our perspective, it's like, did they just, you know, decide to, you know, forget about us, like, so to speak? We didn't know what, what was really happening because because the, the, the process was started, then it was stopped, but then the work that, you know, took place. And then I thought, what, you know, we're all thinking, well, they may have actually found some kind of documentation or, you know, that that gives them the right to do it without it. But it would have been courteous to come back and say, hey, we realize that in these farming or nursery regulations, we actually are, we have the right to do this without coming to front of the commission. But we didn't get that courtesy. If that's what we're doing today, I don't know. But that's, I think, where we were, are, from our standpoint, is like, right? You follow what I mean? That is, and that's exactly what the synopsis says up there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see what that says. I can't see the top to see where, what date it originates at. But, well, it starts at August, August 5th, 2021. Okay. I mean, the, I, the original, the origin of the violation, it's, you came to us back in March of 24, 2021. Correct. So this, has been, this whole discussion started in, in March and now has proceeded forward. It wasn't meant to step over any procedures. Um, not that it matters, but this letter uh, I don't think was forwarded to us, but I think we can move forward okay. with our discussion. Um, in our discussion with Denise, 
specifically a use as of right um, following the guidelines of items one through five, we feel we're within compliance in talking to her and moving forward with our intentions of doing what we've done so far. We have a farming and license. And number one, um, road construction or erection of a building not directly related to farming operations, that has not occurred. Uh, relocation of water courses with continual flow, um, we don't, that has not occurred. Filing or reclamation of wetlands or water courses within continual flow, um, filling, I mean, so, yeah. sorry. It looked like that to me too, when I first looked at it. <laughs> um, that has not occurred. Uh, clearing of timber except for the expansion of an agricultural crop, um, that has occurred. And we could provide a letter um, from a licensed arborist um, even though we feel we're within our right here. And, but we could also provide a letter from an arborist uh, stating that um, any removals were to dead, dying, or um, trees that had no chance of survival. And the last one, uh, the mining of topsoil, peat, sand, gravel, or materials from wetlands or water courses for the purpose of sale. Um, we kept the contour the same. Basically, it was the removal of dead, dying trees. There's a lot of dead growth in there. Um, and we replanted it. And I have a list of plants, if you'd like. So, so what did you, you cut the trees down and then you, and then what are you, what did you do to the area? Planted trees to grow them, to sell them in the future. So you took the trees and you planted them directly into the ground? They're uh, bald. Most of them are bald. But the, okay, so they're in the ground or you, you just laid them on the ground? Well, they're in the ground to create stability so they don't blow over in days like today when there's severe winds. Okay, so they're buried in, in the ground. Correct, about 50%. 50% of the ground, then, then what'd you do? Then you put uh, mulch on them? Uh, they, we did not put chips. mulch. We put wood chips from the chipping effort that we, from the trees that we um, took down. Okay. Just to keep down, um, keep moisture in the ground. Yeah. Keep down the watering, uh -huh. as well as keep um, weeds from growing. And how we thick is how thick is the, is the wood chips? It's. It's really one layer, and if anybody has any concern that um, they feel that's considered a fill operation, we'd be happy to remove it. That is that is a that is a tricky question here because, you know, how much is considered, you know, a, a thin layer on the ground would be considered just spoils of an operation, but you got mountains. I mean, that was a land clearing company. But they they removed yeah. they removed uh, wood chips. We didn't. Um, oh, they didn't get all just spread out. No, for those piles. No. Um, and I think here here's the here's part of the situation. I think I think we actually talked about this either with the when you were here originally, or maybe with somebody else. But we wouldn't have allowed that operation. You wouldn't have. I could hear you. No, track mount, you know, large excavators with saw heads on them, you know, traveling through the wetlands. This would have had to been done a little more, more care for the, you know, for the ground and for, you know, that's, uh, no one gets away. No one d does that. You know, we had a, just an application too, where we required a clearing of a sight line it had to be done, you know, by hand off out of the wetlands. So that to me is like, if anything, of all things, maybe the, the, the the biggest offense of the way the course this went so far from what I could see. You know, a thin layer of wood chips, all nurseries have that. They, they use it to, you know, hold the balls up, the toe in the trees. It all, it's going to decompose. You know, it's going to become part of nature, 
as long as it's not too thick and doesn't create a, like a barrier. But that was a pretty aggressive, uh, you know, tree removal. See, I thought that, that, that and, and I may be wrong, I thought that uh, applicants had to come and, and request the use, the, the uh, uh, as a right designation before it happened. Is that true? There is, there is a, um, an IPU, and I, I have a feeling that I thought he had filled one out, but it said to just remove, it, it, did, not, it did not entail the scope of work, if I recall correctly. So, I mean, to me, I think they should fill out that form. Uh, we have it. For, the, for what they're using, for what they did, though. Oh, uh, well, okay. And then, and then we vote on it and be done with it. A permitted oh, use as of right doesn't usually. No, but don't, but they, but don't they have to come to us and say, hey, I want to do this, right? And then well, we determine it's a, it's a use as of right, or, or can they just do it and, 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 and come back at it later? I thought they had to come to us and say, hey, I've got, I'm a farmer. I want to do this. I want to clean a pipe. That's a use of right, uh, as of right. And then we go, yes, you're right. Go ahead. On your way. So in this, but or am this I wrong? Right. You just showed us our regulation. What is, the, what is the the document that granted you guys the right to do this without coming to wetlands and getting permission? We we provided a um, we provided a sketch of the property to Denise to get the permitted use as of right with an explanation. Oh, she with an explanation of what we you have it on. I'm sure. Jeff yes, we do have it on file. Why did they come here? Because it was the scope of work was not what was on the permitted more than what they what exactly they, what they described right so what was uh, on the permitted I get back why don't you fill out another form so that whole area and which looks pretty back. big I mean yeah. I, I just read I just saw my I just saw 1.2 acres that's all for nursery stock. Yeah. Um, here it is, so right here. What we have here seems is a little bit of. This is the per, this is the form they filled out in the office. Yeah. Remove dead or dying trees. So. Um. I want I want to I want to say that this was this is normal and you know thanks for explaining it to us but it seems a little bit abnormal to me. Um, yeah, we was. I mean, every tree is dying, <laughs> so that seems very vague. You know, it's either dead, it's almost dead. Every other tree on the planet is, in essence, in a way, dying. It's re it's growing towards its maturity where it no longer lives and dies. So, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying in that, that facet. So anybody can quickly say every tree here is dying just because of big trees. Right, every big I should say big tree, because obviously a little sapling is growing, it's not dying, but every big tree is is is, is somehow deteriorating, um, whether it's inside or outside. It looks like it looks like kind of like clear cutting to you know to lay down you know nursery stock with you know a favorable explanation on, on your guys' side of the equation. So I think that we never even got a chance to even go out there and walk it, right? Because they withdrew. Like we could have went out there and at least Denise did. Denise, Denise did not well, well, the commission. I and I, and I, it's unfortunate. I'm sorry. It's unfortunate that it's disjointed. That we were executing this plan while well her transition out of here. So we still have an open violation, right? Is that right? That has been resolved. And you were saying fill out this form. Well, that's the form that's up there right now. And right. the note is that a licensed arborist to evaluate dead, dying, or trees with no chance of survival for removal. Yeah. That was so that whole was entire the area, the 1.2 acres, there wasn't one tree that was. There was a few trees that were left. Oh, there's some that are left. Um, but I can't, you know, we can't really comment too much that way because we're not arborists ourselves. But. Um, I'll tell you what would make me feel good and I'll, you know, I'll let the rest of the commission decide, but 
if and because it's not really going to be a big effort on on you guys' parts, but maybe to you know plant some stuff permanently there. Oh yeah, to let yeah, it yeah. kind of grow back. You know, give it a you know and let it look a little more natural than just this now open field with a bunch of temporary stored plants. You could look. You could even leave. The, I don't even care if you leave some of the leftovers from the end of the year. Don't sell and just permanently plant them here and there. And give us maybe a plan showing that you know. We're going to do this over the course of this amount of time. So, if in fact someday this no longer becomes a nursery, it gets you know a little bit of nature is restored. Maybe that, we a row of native trees or something that you can you know. Yeah, yeah we wouldn't want like any special. It would be normal trees that were there. Yeah, like you know it's probably red maples mostly and stuff like that. So yeah. So are you looking for a planting plan? Well, I'm throwing out a suggestion. To see if this will, we can, you know, make this go away because it's vague. It's very vague. It's not clear. And if we could kind of negotiate something that would make everybody happy here, um, you know, they they kind of are admitting in a way that they did circumvent us. But it is, you know, there there could be an argument for why they, you know, that they had what they what, what they needed, but it doesn't. It's not really clear either. Okay. So my suggestion would be that you can show us a stick. It just be staff doesn't have to be in, just be on a on a survey. Just say you know we're gonna you know plant this many trees every year from you know leftover stock. They don't they could be the ones that no one's wanted to buy because they look like hell or anything. Just we're gonna take stuff that doesn't sell and we're gonna we're gonna you know fill in in this area in this area in this area and it doesn't have to be done right away. It could be like you said over the next five years or something. I should let you decide. Plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't want like stuff that you know doesn't belong there. But right. whatever was there before, the arborist who, if he evaluated, it, should have had a list of what trees were there if he did it right. I think. And and you guys just come back with it and with what you're comfortable doing. And I'm sure we won't have a problem. But I'm speaking myself, and I'll I'll get a you know chime in from the other four commissioners so that. They're all comfortable with it, and you're not wasting your time. So, you two guys are yeah. Good with that? yeah, yeah. I think it's a good idea. Clark, thumbs up. BJ, yes, I think that uh, doing some uh, remediation, if you want to call it that, by leaving some plants in place would be a very positive thing, especially if they could be along the road or closer to the road. That might provide a little barrier over time. So, I like your idea. Okay. And I guess I'd, 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 I'd say, and I, I'd look to the commission, but I, I would think that the chip shouldn't be more than six inches thick. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's already that's, that's already max. a lot. I think that's about the max. Yeah. Because um, technically, you could be starting to call it fill and not, and yeah. not, not a ground cover or a, a weed control. Um, so we're not making... We're not... Figuring out you're gonna you're gonna come up with your plan okay based on the input you got today and go back to it. So we're not gonna we're not gonna say that this is what you're gonna do and we're good. We want to see what you guys come up with, um, and then uh, we should probably be able to put this to rest. Very good, thank you. Um, if I could just say uh, so I can have your input. Um, currently, there's a stone wall that's got a setback from the road of about 15 feet we would go inboard of that into the property. So on the inboard side, do a right. planting. So Rubber. we'll create a drawing that shows that so it doesn't interfere with the sight lines there. Right. Yeah. You don't want to, yeah, you don't want to, re. you know, there, if there was a benefit of, of vegetation removal for safety, we obviously don't want to go back to that. But this is really your thing. We're, you know, figure out, make it so that it works for your operation. Okay. But gives us, back. you know, let's put back, we're trying to look, just restore over time some of what was lost. Very good. Um, so whatever works for you. If you guys want to put them, you know, in one area over here so you can leave it, you know, open so it's easier for your operations. But just show us that you're trying to do something to, to mitigate the, the loss. Okay. Is there a time frame in which you want him to come back to the commission? There's not um, much planting going to be done. You want to do for our December meeting so that you guys can actually maybe – 
if you want to use some stuff that was, you know, that may sit out yeah, winter. That's not a problem. So you could do it or we'll submit something to Joe prior to your December meeting. Yeah. And that's if we're not doing November. It's up to um, It's not a heavy lift. Yeah. I could have it in a week and a half. Uh, right, let's see. We'll see if we, we if, if anything. So put it this way. If you have it done and then nothing else, and nothing comes out, unless you say to us, hey, look, we have, you know, you say, look, we got like a, a whole bunch of trees we want to plant because they're left over. We want to do it now before it gets too cold. Okay. I think we could, that would be a reason to call it, call the November meeting and keep it in place. If something else comes along, like an application, we're probably going to have the meeting. But right now it's up in the air. I see. Follow what I mean? And it's not going to be like a long thing like, you know, this is going to be very short tonight. As soon as you're done, I don't know what else we have. Just two. Yeah. So we could do that. Okay. When it's ready, um, we'll see. We'll play by ear as far as when the hearing will be for it. But probably de December at the latest. The latest, yeah. The latest December. But if you are in November meeting is when? The um, sorry. Hold on. It is... 10th. November 10th. November 10th. November 10th. That's only two weeks. Not even. Yeah, two weeks. Right. If you want, if you could get it by then, okay. We'll we'll, we'll 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 probably consider having the, that meeting then. Very good. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, application hearing determination. Our media submissions none. Application hearing determination none. Other bond release reduction report none. Time extensions none. Discussion none. Deliberation session. Why do you? This is because we have the drafts, right? Yes. So, all right. So, deliberation and completed hearings, complete items from the agenda as determined by the commission. IWC 2021 09 1271 Road Turnpike, multi age restricted development associated. Do anybody have any comments about this draft? Which one are we looking at? 1271? We're looking at 12, yeah, 1271 Monroe Turnpike. Uh, this is BJ. And according to my notes from the last meeting, the text here fits that uh, exactly. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Someone want do we vote on this, right? Mm -hmm. Make a motion. I make a motion that we vote on this uh, completed hearing. I for second. Approval. Uh, except the draft, I think, is what we want to say, right? Except the draft of this completed hearing. Okay. Thank you. We have a motion. Aye. Aye. Second by Commissioner Hall. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Are you, are you abstained? Um, okay, so abstain. Sorry. Okay, that's because it's not. It's not considered anonymous. So, uh, Commissioner Hall, do you vote uh, in favor? I vote in favor. Commissioner Gingers, you vote in favor. I vote in favor. Commissioner Masterak, you vote in favor. Vote in favor. Commissioner Stewart, you're abstaining. Yes. Commissioner uh, Chairman is voting in favor. Okay. Okay. So this draft is passed. All right, next one is IWC 2021-12, <coughs> 571 and 587 Pepper Street, proposed construction of 6,814 square foot office, 22,000 square foot area, <coughs> with associated with you. associated with height grading and driveway, <coughs> system, Maybrook LLC applicant, sole engineering LLC representative. Has everybody got a chance to look at this draft? Yes. <coughs> So, good. Everything on here is exactly as we discussed last time. Great. In my view. So, I'll make a motion, please. I make a motion. We accept the draft. Motion from Commissioner Hall to accept the draft. You have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Gingras. Um, all in favor? Aye. Never mind. Start over again. Commissioner Hall, you vote in favor of this draft? Yes, in favor. 
Um, Commissioner Gingras, do you vote in favor of this draft? Aye. Uh, Soraco? Yes. In favor? Commissioner Stewart is abstaining. Staying. Chairman, uh, voting in favor. Draft passes unanimously. Uh, no. By four to zero vote. <laughs> I, don't know how you call it. I don't know how you call it, but it's all right. Passed. I have it correctly on my sheet, which is what matters. All right, agent approvals none. Permit uses of right. IPU 2018 01, Department of Public Works, Road Repair, Replacement, or General Maintenance. IW Regulation Section 4.2C expires 328 2023. Deliberation. Deliberation on completed remediation submissions or agenda none. Administrator review. Force commissioners none, status updates none. General discussion of the minutes of September 22nd, 2021, and October 13th. Meeting, right? Yes. So if you want to have table raise, whatever you can do. Do I table or does somebody want to vote to accept them if they've read them in? For September 22nd? September 22nd. Table. I was a matter. It's <laughs> table. 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 Okay. Table. table minutes. Go to the next meeting. Regulation Amendment Committee. None. Public members mean nothing. Um, Correspondence. And now we're going to talk about the uh, schedule for next year. Yeah. Right. Was there something? Is there something else we have to do tonight? No, that was right. it. We also okay. have schedule for uh, November and December. Remote versus hybrid. Um, right, we can talk about that too. But my my feeling is that I'd rather keep it hybrid, just because I kind of rather come here myself. My preference, but it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't it's not like we're taking any resources from anybody else, right? Correct. Right. And we only may have one more, anyways. Um, what are you talking about? Skipping November, or well, we may. We may right now. I think November is on the chopping block for being skipped unless something comes in that we need so we could just, you know, deal with um, your absence. So so it would only be December. Okay. Right now, right now. That's definitely happening. Right? Very good. Okay. Yeah, it's completely up to the commission. It's, I, I don't right, know. But, you know, it doesn't bother me to come here. I mean, like you said, okay. like you said in the email, I was the only person who had to be here tonight. Right. Well, I mean, everybody else is one of us from the commission has to. Yeah, someone from the commission, which would should be the chair and a staff member, need to be present at the right. meeting. The rest of you, if you feel more comfortable from home, you're welcome to be at home. Right. That's how hybrids work. Okay, so it's never really an. It's never really an, 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 an uh, it's all your personal option whether you want to come in or not. And as long as, as long as I'm here, or some you know someone had to be my replacement for the night, as long as someone's here to run the meeting. Um, the uh, okay, so the meeting dates for 2022. We have to. So we do not have to vote on that tonight. You can no, but we could discuss it. Absolutely, yeah. Right for the next meeting, but sure. um, since most of us are here, um, I want to have, and, and it's not just me, but have only one meeting per month um, for the year. But what I want to do also is leave pick. On the months where we had two dates, pick the one that's preferable for everybody, but leave the other one there just in case we get busy. Right? I mean, you can. Or if something happens, like where, you know, some one of these days falls and there's, we we're going to be missing three commissioners, and we know ahead of time we could, we could have the other one. Because it's right. not like. Well, what happens is I have to file these. They, by requirement, they have to be filed with the town clerk. And. They have to be noticed. So we can still do this, but the commission has the ability if they don't have something on the agenda or, you know, there's nothing that's going on, you can postpone, delay, 
or cancel a meeting. They cancel because of bad weather. They, you know. If, yeah, right. You could, but I also don't want to have uh, applicants have the option to file for that day. So if we're like, if we everybody likes March 9th better than March 23rd, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to have, or actually, it would only be really be in the in the in the past way. So if everybody likes March 23rd, and March 9th is like, but. Huh. We had better. it there. I wouldn't I want to have like someone say, I want to go next. I think, I think it's, it's better. better. Pick a month, and then if you need a special meeting, we make a special meeting. What I'm saying is these are the times where we're something. Open, this is a time where we have staff and we have the, the chambers. Like these are, this has all been figured out where it's not colliding with anybody. Yeah, but yeah. still. So if nobody needs the spot, we can still. I was wondering if we could hold it, and then if we know ahead of time, like it wouldn't be January, right? Because like you said, you got to file it a certain amount of time. Right. So the that just make everything too complicated. Well, the problem with a special meeting is that you first of all, you can only have what's on the agenda. Yeah. That's what's great about it. Yeah, but let's say if we all send we're doesn't it, it runs hours. differently. It runs differently. Let's put it that way. There are different hmm. it, well, it, My point was is that if we eliminate eight meetings, right? Mm -hmm. From the schedule. And now all of a sudden we're we get busy and we're cramming trying to cram everything and our meetings are going six hours a night or something because they we don't have that extra time and all of a sudden it's like wow why didn't we do this like to be able to say well these are the ones that were still open the chambers are still open on this day can we go can we go back to it and, and if we need feel the need like you said call it a special meeting if you want but these are the dates we know that as of right now are set aside for us the, the period of time. You know what I mean? I mean, if we don't if we don't schedule the meetings on those dates, they're not going to take this room over for something else, or are they? I I honestly don't know. I would have to reserve the room. I would have to reserve the room on the well, dates that you don't want, just so that it would be available. Let's let's do this then. Let's pick what on the month here. Well, first of all, all these are still open. They're not nothing's decided. But correct. Let's go through. On the one, the months we had two, we'll decide who thinks is the best date. We'll pick it, and then if we can get if we can get an answer from anybody by the next meeting when we vote on whether what we could do with the other dates. If we can keep them in queue, just in case. I can double check with the selectman's office, and what we can do is, if if need be, I will just yeah. reserve the room as as needed, even though it's not a file meeting a what meeting a filed meeting i don't think you want to create a meeting list for those dates because because applicants are going to and engineers are going to assume oh i can i can take my time right no no can, this would uh, only be, be fine well i'll do it i'll submit next week and i got i, I could submit eight complete applications no, because no, they're going to give plenty of time hard to no. whether to use it or not well, right. I'm just saying that's why I wouldn't put it on the list because then you should got to publicize the list and they're going to assume that they got those meetings to go to. No, that's not what I mean. no, that's no, no, no. The reserving of the room. No, I understand. In the selectman's office is just a private thing that doesn't yep. have to go up. No, I understand that. Okay, so if you did one meeting a month, those that's, those are only the dates that would show yes. on the list that I file. It would be it would it would be up to us to. To open up another one if, if we were starting to get yeah, have a done. special meeting we'd have right, to have a special right, right, meeting right, right. and these are the days we know right now that are open so let's see what what what, what options we have i mean you know, the other thing is that and this is just another there are set statutory requirements that have to be filled so not only when i get a application i have to do the pending application notice, which gives them the 14 day appeal period or like the interveners come in or 15 days. And then um, it can be accepted at the next regularly scheduled meeting. And if it's a public hearing, then I have to do the two week. That is the one thing that stinks about it is because there's so many steps in the process. There is, but that's so that, all state mandated, right. not town mandated. So but it can really, be done. It can be what? done easily in in, in a yeah. meeting a month if if there's not so much you can't get it done. But the engineer should be able to get that done, and they may have to give extensions and stuff. Okay. If they can't get it done. 
the thing I'd like to bring up, which I bring up every year at this time, starting at six o'clock. You guys can say no. No. We don't. We don't work for the okay. government. You can get for the winter time. It's fine as long as it ain't snowing. Uh, yeah. Um, sorry. I'm not going to do that one for you. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'll bring it up again next year. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's start. January the 12th and the 26th. What does everybody feel? Better? I am always better at the end of the month. I'll go with that also. Second second meeting of the month would be the meeting. Oh, for all months? For the later um, later date. For every month. That would be my vote. During the winter, I might be able to do a six o'clock. Because yeah, it could start so early. It's going to mess with too many people's schedule. Just... I remember, too, the engineers usually have to you know, have them at a certain time when they, they, they're going to all their – Hearings and all that. I don't know. <laughs> they don't want to get out early. No, they're building by the hour. Handsomely, too. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything to coincide with any holidays that would be. So, our. Okay, so. I will tell you that the November and the December, there's a reason why they're at the beginning of the month. It's because of yeah. the holidays. Yeah, right. and that's right. fine. I understand. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, in July and August. Okay, so we're talking about just taking the later one in every month. That would be my vote. I can I can type it up. I, draft it and see what. Right, and resend these out with the dates and double check them against the holidays with just the um, the second meeting of the month, but leave November. I almost think though maybe. Well, still. That's still over two weeks, October 26th to November, almost two weeks. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. Everybody else okay with it? It's easy. So I'll draft it up and I'll email you guys the new one and because yep. I know Lois will need to look at it too. Or... Maybe, yeah. I mean, the other thing too is we can all, should we ask, should we consult? Yeah, it's going to be okay if we do this in December. If we don't meet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it has to be 30 days before the first meeting. Okay. No. So if you do it on December 14th and decide that you're not going to have your meeting till, or decide, whatever the meeting is in December this year, and you're not going to have your first meeting till January 26th, you're fine. Why okay. is zoning still doing two a month? Are they doing mostly two a month? They do two a month, yes, but they, I don't know, they cancel sometimes, and I don't, I'm not sure what they're doing yet. Their meeting is next week. That's why you can wait if you want. And I'm just wondering if they'd have any, if it would make any sense if we're doing that to somehow jockey with their schedule, be like alternatively off. But if it well, there, any value to it, I don't know. Inland Wetlands is the um, second and fourth week of the month, and P and Z is the first and third week of the month always. So they oh, they so, jockey that way. So it's yeah, so it's it's skewed at least, but all right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter then. It wouldn't matter. Okay. Anything else? Anybody else have anything? So I'll do up a new proposal and I will email that out to you guys. And um, I mean, if you have if you have the November meeting, you certainly can vote on it or whatever. And if you don't, you can wait until December when I'm back. I mean, I'm hoping that a couple of things might come up before then it would make more sense than just to have it for Corville. But, you know. We definitely be short. Okay, um, so I guess that's it. And um, we also uh, may or may not see BJ then uh, eventually at some point if things go your way. What, next Tuesday. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's when it would be immediate or not. I don't know what the when the commission t when the, it starts. I, I expect I'll be with you guys for a long time. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> 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 hey, I mean, you know. Hey, sometimes, hey, sometimes it changes, you know. That, 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 it's always possible. We'll take that day when we get there. Yeah. Well, I was gonna wish you well. You know, you're putting in a, a good effort. So, <laughs> thank you. All right, so uh, we can adjourn this meeting at. Uh, motion to adjourn. Uh, we got a vote, vote on that. Vote out, right? Motion so, that we vote right, the meeting. A motion for Commissioner Gears to close the meeting. A second. Second. Second by Commissioner Stewart. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed unanimously. This meeting is now adjourned at 7 57 p.m. Yeah,